Hello everyone, in this session we are, I'm going to start with my JavaScript series. So I'm going to make videos on unique or interesting JavaScript topics. So I today I've chosen JavaScript promises and async functions and how we can use them in LWC. So let's start. So firstly I'll start with the intro. So we all know that JavaScript is a single thread language. That is we cannot have multi threads and the execution uh, of JavaScript is one by one. But uh, we have an option to perform asynchronous actions as well in JavaScript. Uh, that is set timeout. That is using some functions like set timeout uh, or set interval, etc. Uh, when when we touch the concept of asynchronous programming, a uh, important part to know is callbacks. So let's discuss what is a callback. A callback is a function that is passed as an argument to another functions. So for example, um, callbacks are most often used with asynchronous functions. So an example could be like I am using a set timeout. I want this my function to run after four seconds. So this is in milliseconds and I want it to run after four seconds. So I'll provide in the function name. So this my function is basically a callback function. That is a function that is an argument to another function. So uh, yeah, this, this is how uh, callbacks are used in asynchronous functions. So now let's discuss like what were the problems of using callbacks for asynchronous functions. So uh, the main uh, problem was the callback hell. So what, uh, what this is? So when multiple asynchronous operations are nested within each other, it can lead to deeply nested and hard to read code often referred to as callback hell or the pyramid of doom. This makes code maintenance, debugging and understanding much more difficult. So I'll, I'll show you one example uh, of callbacks. So let's say we have a function read file function that is asynchronous in nature. And uh, uh, we want to firstly read the output of file one dot txt. Then we, uh, if that is successful, I want to read the output of file two dot txt subsequently file three dot txt. So what I'll do is I'll uh, call this function read file, uh, providing in the parameters as file one dot txt. And within it, we have a callback function. So this would be called, this callback function would be called if uh, uh, once the processing is completed and uh, it will check if error or if data. So else if uh, it was successful, then again make a uh, request to this async function to read the file 2.txt and again within it we have a callback function and we are checking whether it's success or uh, error then again we are calling this function again to uh, to read the file 3.txt and we, we have this callback function so you can see that the code readability and code see that the code readability is not at all good and we uh, the lines of code are uh, increased and uh, it's a deeply nested structure and it it can make a pyramid so that is why it is called as a callback hell so to solve this uh, we uh, javascript introduced promises so uh, let's discuss what are promises the meaning of promise can be similar to the english word promise so it's like i promise you that i'll return something to you in the future so uh, the javascript promise object can either be pending fulfilled or rejected and we use promise to handle the asynchronous function responses so let's see an example so uh, we uh, we are declaring a variable my promise and we are declaring the javascript promise object using the new promise within it we have a callback function uh, my resolve and my reject so if it is successful i am resolving the promise if it is unsuccessful then i am rejecting the promise so firstly, it would be in pending state. And if it is successful, uh, I'll resolve the promise and it will become fulfilled. Otherwise, the promise will become rejected. And from here, uh, so this implementation would be present uh, on the back end. So for, for example, we can say that when we make an imperative call to uh, Apex code using LWC, so Salesforce in their back in their code has defined this promise and we are handling that promise using the then keyword then or the catch keyword so uh, we use the then keyword and uh, we do our necessary operations uh, otherwise if there is any error it goes into the catch operation so uh, yeah so this this is what the promise is uh, 
now there are there are other keywords as well to handle the asynchronous responses those are the keyword async it is used before a function uh, and makes a function return a promise so if the function returns a promise that means that it is asynchronous and uh, we can uh, use the async keyword to make the function return a promise uh, with the async function we also have the await keyword the await keyword can only be used inside a async function the await keyword makes the function pause the execution and wait for the resolved promise before it continues so uh, now let's discuss why we we should use the async await keyword uh, over promise uh, why we should use the async await keyword over promise so we use the await keyword to pause the execution and wait wait for each asynchronous operation to complete before moving on uh, basically this makes the code even more concise and easier to read with the async await co uh, uh, keywords the code becomes more cleaner and less verbose so what i'll do is i'll show you an example the same example of the file one so the same file example so this is our example using the uh, callbacks and this looks like a terrible code deeply nested now this is the same code using promise so what we will do is we'll call the read file asynchronous function and uh, then use the then keyword to handle the promise that is being returned by the read file and if that is successful so we'll return the read file and that would return the file to and provide the parameter as file2.txt so now we are returning this uh, read file and then this will eventually return a promise and to handle it we will again use the then keyword to handle it and subsequently uh, again we are calling the read file function and we will use the then keyword to handle it and uh, in the end we have a catch statement let's say if there is any error in this statement then we can use the catch statement to handle it now uh, if i want the same implementation to be done using the async await keyword so uh, so i've created this uh, read files function this async function and uh, i'm calling the um, uh, so you know uh, as i said the await keyword can only be used within the async keyword async function so uh, i'm calling this read file this is a asynchronous function so this read file will return a promise and uh, we are handling that promise uh, using the await keyword so what it will do is uh, uh, the execution will start from line number 57 it will go here and it will wait till read file promise has been resolved and it will store the data whether a success or a false in the data one then it will print it once we get the execution will go down similarly it will stop the execution till it gets the result back uh, for for this promise and uh, then only it will execute the line number 64 we can change the same promise functions using uh, two async await keywords and we can see that the low, uh, the code looks much more clearer cleaner now instead of multiple curly braces we only have uh, the try catch block to handle the uh, to manage the exception handling and we just have the await keyword and uh, in the back end it handles the same now let's see an lwc uh, in the lwc we will provide in some keyword and we need uh, this will make a server call uh, to apex to search uh, if those any of those contacts with that keyword are present so it will just search for the name where name like uh, the uh, the search key which we provided from the lwc so we have created two functions one is the async function and one is using the promise so we'll then we'll see the implementation of both how async works and how promise function would work so i'll firstly i'll go to the org and i'll show you so um i'll search my name and i'll click on search so you can see the uh, string got changed to results found and we got three results with the name sam similar to the name sam three contacts uh that are similar to the name sam so and if i uh, i'll uh, remove it and i'll search with any other keyword so it tells me that results not found yep so this is using uh, if i'll go to the lightning button this is the lightning button uh, and the label is search and on click it is calling this handle search async function so this is the function handle search async and uh, i'll what i'll do is i have some console logs i'll go to inspect i'll open the console logs 
and I'll click and found it is saying the results are found and you can see three results are, are found and we have console statements printed in the console so it is saying that hi I will only be printed when results have been fetched so if I'll show you the function so this line is uh, printed first hi I am before the await keyword then the execution will halt here it will wait uh, for the find contacts promise to resolve and then only it will print this line hi that this is printed when the results are fetched then uh, we are uh, updating this variable this dot results found and uh, this variable is being updated here to um, showcase results found or either results not found now uh, I'll change the lightning button on click handler to handle search promise so now I'll deploy this so it's been deployed I'll click on refresh so it's saying that results not found I'll search my name I'll click on search so you can see you can see the results have been found uh, but this variable didn't got changed so let's see why it happened I'll click on inspect I'll go to console so uh, I'll click again click on search so it is saying that this will run immediately without waiting for promise results and after that is this console log is printing hi I am inside promise so I'll go to the JavaScript so you can see that this promise uh, hi I am inside promise this log statement is inside the promise and it is this is on line number 32 and the other console is on line number 41 but the console on line number 41 is printed first instead of line number 32 this is because when JavaScript engine sees a promise it doesn't uh, halts the execution uh, since we are not using the await keyword so the execution will not be halted this will this will run uh, when once the JavaScript engine detects like um, all the execution has been done so uh, firstly if when, uh, when we click on the button uh, it will call this on click handler so firstly this line would be printed this will run immediately before uh, without waiting for promise results and after that this line will be printed then uh, the JavaScript engine will execute this promise since an asynchronous function so uh, to resolve our bug but even when the results are found it is showing that results are not found to so, so to resolve this bug what we can do is we can move this statement to inside this statement inside the then keyword so what this will do is this this will only execute this once we uh, the results have been fetched so I'll I've saved it and I'll deploy it deployed I'll click on refresh now I I'll again put this put my key, my name uh, the keyword Sam and I'll click on search and boom you can see that the bug has been resolved and the keyword results found change immediately once we fetch the results so uh, if I'll go back to the JavaScript so you can see that uh, with the await keyword uh, uh, with the await keyword we didn't have to put uh, that inside any braces so uh, since the execution is halted and this line will only this the line number 20 will only be executed once we the results for the promise has been fetched but in this case when uh, this line was outside the promise so it was executing even before the promise results are returned so yeah this is basically this was the difference between async and the await keyword so the code for this looks much more cleaner than the promise one. So uh, that's all for today's session. So thanks everyone for watching this video and do subscribe to the channel for more such videos in the future.